my most memorable moment would definitely be um, the very first day of practice going into the Sand Sheriff. Just to play in that gym and the atmosphere is very, very motivational and inspiring and it shows that like hard work pays off coming from like a little school and seeing myself play like Division One, just reaching my dream was pretty great. Definitely the girls, all my teammates, the atmosphere, the people, the fans, I'm definitely going to miss that a lot. Um, I'm going to miss Robin, just, just the whole island and the culture of watching volleyball. I'd like to thank my team for always being there for me and um, I would like to thank the seniors, Teal and Kanani. And thanks Kanani for always helping and pushing me. From the 300s to practice, always helping me out, I really appreciate it. And um, just everyone in general here that's been support for me and my fan, like giving me motivation. Um, my family, for sure, for getting me here and helping me reach my goals by like supporting me in volleyball all the way. And most importantly, God for giving me the talent and the ability to play here. My most memorable moment would have to be my first game as a UH Rainbow Wahine um, against San Diego. Uh, just everything was way more than I expected it. The crowd was amazing. My teammates were great. They helped me through all those nerves and it just, it was an amazing experience, so. I'm definitely gonna miss all my teammates. Just, we spend more time with each other than we do with our family. And so they're like your family during the season and I'm definitely gonna miss them. My coaches who've done a lot for me and especially the seniors. Griff and Kanani. Me and Kanani's gone back like since we were younger and it's just nice that I got to come home and finish our career together. So. I'd like to thank God for bringing me home and making this all possible. My parents for everything they do, my brothers for all their support, my family, they've always been there for me, um, coaches for everything you've taught me and all my teammates for making this an amazing experience and the fans for being awesome every game. There's not one game that the crowd was down or anything. So just like to thank everyone. My most memorable moment was when we got that ticket to the final four against that, the game versus Michigan. That game point that nobody realized we'd make it that far. And then when that game ending kill went down. I just remember it. I pretty much jumped the highest I ever jumped for a celebration when I was like pretty much exhausted and I don't know how I got all that energy but just that moment jumping with my teammates whoever that was there was amazing and carrying that over into the first final four match against Penn State that whole introduction just being a part of a final four group is you know unheard of for a lot of teams a lot of players and I'm one of the local kids that can say I was able to be a part of that experience. I'm definitely going to miss just going through this whole process of waking up early going to practice trying to stay up in school and you know just a, a regular routine that's set up for you you know everything's given to you especially if you're coming in with a full scholarship you know and um, I try to make sure that I appreciate every moment that was given to me and being able to hang out with your teammates on and off the court, you know, it's something that I'm going to miss the most is that how close I am with my, t my own teammates. It's not just me going home to my family after school is over. I'm, I'm actually hanging out with my, my teammates as friends or as sisters and, you know, it's, I actually grew as a, a person more through this whole college career than I ever have my whole life. I would like to thank my family, of course, my mama, my daddy, and of course my sisters were always hanging in there for all the tournaments that they've been a part of. You know, even though they weren't really watching, it's totally cool, but you know, it's the support that counts. And of course my, my grandma that could, even though she's not there at every game, I, I know she's watching me and that's why I wave to her every time when we get announced. And I'd like to thank every coach that's helped me out from baby time all the way until now because I wouldn't be the person that I am today and I'd like to thank the fans who's always been there making that arena you know very loud and and proud to make me feel like I 
I belong here and that you know it's as much as four years feel like it's forever to, f uh, to finally come to its end point for me it's you know I'm, it's gonna hit me maybe later I'm not right now but for sure I'm I'm gonna miss every moment that I've been a part of this program.